We are going on our first ever family camping trip. Work is being done on the moat. Cross our fingers, perhaps. We won't have a moat by the time we get back. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully by the end of this video. Two nights. It'll end up being two full days. Half a day today, half a day at the end, full day tomorrow. Is that normal? Seven people. That's like more than we take on vacation. If we have a good time, I think we're definitely staying longer because like, you have to take all these mattresses no matter how many days you stay. Oh, my word, we're on our way. We did it, we died. Oh. Do you think we're extra? Oh, yes, definitely. well, no, this is the I thing. I don't want to be like, uh, no, I think we're having a lot of fun with it. Like, <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta enjoy the process because it's gonna take more than the oh, yeah. camping experience. Well, what I'm saying is like, we're like cooking kind of extra stuff that we probably wouldn't, which by the way, did we bring my salsa to get brought? I don't know if we did. Oh, we no. have to have the salsa. I know, we're making tortilla chips. <laughs> tortilla did anybody chip? pack the salsa from after lunch? Uh, nope. Nope. We're like 10 minutes away, but we gotta go back for your salsa. I know. We're there. <laughs> we forgot to Sorry, I didn't have him on the checklist. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy. It's okay, we got you now, buddy. We walked in and I was like, oh, Teddy, we forgot. <laughs> Here we go. We Let's go to the thing. woods. Awesome. We got the salsa. Oh, no. So what I was saying when I when we remembered was that we are kind of being extra in like we're we're cooking a little bit more. Did you bring that chuck roast? Yeah. Yeah, we're basically gonna spend this whole camping trip setting up and cooking. And then breaking down. And having fun, hopefully. Relaxing in between. Yeah, we came back. Another Second time. time. At least we weren't in the woods. So, and we weren't even as far as the first time, but yeah, we forgot uh, more food. We've been in the car now, thirty minutes. No, forty we, minutes. We've been in. The <laughs> We're still home. <laughs> forty or fifty minutes. Okay. Uh, we forgot the hobo packets and eggs. You gotta have dinner and, and breakfast. Like what in the world? What have we forgotten that we're not gonna remember? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so we need a master list. That's a lesson learned. That's good. You're gonna have to hold them on your lap. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh no. We gotta go. This is classic, isn't it? We're gonna be setting up at dark. I know, because we, no, we'll we still have one more place to go. Do we have oh, salt? we gotta go to Ace. Do we have salt? Hey, we did, salt. we did bring salt. All right, here we go. Again. We made it. Well, we made it to Ace. That's saying something. Should we get a farm truck? That can be what Jonas drives. It's big, yes, but that's the point. It's safe. If he gets in an accident, he's gonna be on the safe side. <laughs> Don't tell me we forgot something else. No. What about Teddy? Teddy is. Insane. Okay, we need to. We need to. Okay, we need to undo the windows a little bit. Cage cooker, tarps, locks no, for not, trailers. Like, we well, happens. they have one. Yeah. Got some brooms while we're at it. That or like a cargo van. Did you want this? To double is it boiler. Straight up cast iron? I think so. Okay, glad I got that out of the way before we go into the woods. Did you get everything? I think so. You want to go happy? You ready? <laughs> You're gonna love it. You wanna go camping? We have room for that? <laughs> hey guys, there's your truck. That one has we'll get you that truck. Steering wheel's on the other side, but you guys will get used to it. Now you like their truck, but. I love that truck, it's so cool. We're now into the forest. Yeah, oh, look. This it's is a, pretty. It's a look. lodge. Look, Big look Creek together. Lodge. It's private. Oh, wow. wow. How cool would it be to live right there? 1890 this was built. Okay, roadside camping only where tent signs, but look. I think we the road is closed. It's just not right there. There's a spot right there. I don't know if we want to be on a dead end. We could camp there or we could go back to the campground. Well, let's just go back to the campsite. You want I to? I think that this is 
Good. Or do we go? Wait, there's a road way. No, but see, okay, so it sits Y Gap One, yeah. which is what we were looking for those campsites that way. That's that campground, that campsite. Mm, I'm not sure what that sign says. Yeah. Oh, this okay. Is so sad. It's closed. Yeah, the it says road closure. Such an impression on us is not. Yeah, and well, I don't want to go up there because we're not going to be along the river. No, let's go and look at this site. Okay. And see if this is what let's we want to do. Or we can just go back. Yeah. Let's go look at it. My problem with this one is we are in the dead end, so we're going to have to deal with cars coming and turning around all the time. Yeah. Or sometimes. Hey, we do have a fire pit. And you have access to the creek. Looks like the campground is it. Just going to pay our dues. Five bucks. It's nice. Teddy, she's coming back. It'll be okay. This is our choice. Is it, is it open? One yeah, it night. says one night. And it says $64. Well, this is primo. This is primo because it's right next to the creek. And it's right next to a bathroom. One night. We need two nights. We're heading out to try to make a phone call. We gotta get to reception before five, probably. Problem is, we were gonna roadside camp, first come, first serve, and that road was closed. And there's no thing on the internet about that road being closed. And now we're in a situation where we're on a reservation campground, looks like. We could go back to that one spot, but it was kind of creepy. Okay, there are some sites available. A must mean available, okay. I am happy. Hopefully the beautiful one's happy. Uh, we got a spot. Here's the trick though. You can only reserve Friday and Saturday. It's Thursday, so you've got to hope nobody's in there. You can't reserve the day reserve the day of. So we got to hope nobody's spending there one night. I was this close to thinking this is going to be over. Me too. And if somebody's there, it could be over. Everybody cross your fingers. Look for campsite 8. There's 4. The five. five. We're right by a bathroom and there's no neighbor on one side, so that's pretty good. Six. Six. Okay, eight. It doesn't look like anybody's there. Hot dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's so nice. All right. That's us. It's nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. What do you think, Beck? Did you put it on is it nice? Head? Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. We're either extra or really good at this. You guys want the tour? Okay, we got a fire pit. We got the hobo pockets going. Seven camp chairs around. We brought our own firewood from home. We got some fish thawing for tonight. Henry is just in heaven. Step over to our kitchen. We got a little tool table there with our hammer and our lighter. Brought our own tablecloth. This, this, this picnic table is nice, isn't it, Rebecca? It is. Thick. Kitchen supplies. Fire poker, drinking water from home, washing hands water for our washing hand station. We might not be extra, Becca. We might be good. Trash bags, paper towels for drying. This is like the kitchen counter right here. We got paper towels. We got eco soap. We got a sink for washing the, the pots that we're going to reuse. We got a camp stove, propane. We also have a griddle to put on the top of this. For tomorrow's pancakes and eggs. Rebecca, I don't know how to cook hobo pockets. They've been in there. They've been on the side. I don't know how you know when they're ready. They're re they should be ready. We're just heating them. They're cooked. Yeah, you cooked them. They're just heating later. We have to keep Teddy on a leash. Then we've got our Kodiak canvas tent. Super easy to set up, especially if you remember how to do it. We got a bug net on it. We've got. Look at that. How cute. Seven sleeping bags. We're ready to go. Word on the creek. Grandma and Big Daddy are coming to visit tomorrow. Henry's got some trucks. We brought a camp. Foot mat. Doggies food. We've got a 10 by 10 over the picnic table. It's probably going to rain. It's supposed to rain every day. I'm feeling great. My symptoms are great. No pain. No pain. No pain anywhere. Your legs ache. I am, I am going to sit down though. Is that alright? Yeah, it's fine. Can I sit down a minute? Mm -hmm. We can sit down all the evening. It's good. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. no, that's piping hot. Woo, that's hot. Y'all are good. Is it good? Yeah, it is. That one was a gamble. You gonna be able to eat all that? Yeah. Okay, little Henry likes it. You like this camping. 
I got some fish going. We're reheating some of the hobo pockets. And inside that is pork lard. I'm gonna go for some pork rinds later. Do you guys have snacks for later? No. More hobo, <laughs> More hobo pockets, she says. Well, there's two heating up. I've pulled the skillet a little further out. It's just it's it's too hot. It needs to slow down a little bit. And it's raining. You're safe over there, huh? Get the chairs up. The fire goes on. Hopefully, it's just a drizzle. And you get hungry in the woods. You get hungry in the woods. That's good. Mm hmm. How y'all doing over there? Good. We're doing good. How are you? We're doing good over here. We have a pork fire, a lard fire. Watch, I'll show you. Mom went to lift the lid. Look. Oh wow. It went I just out. ruined my pork rinds. I guess. Are they in there? No. Oh okay. I didn't know you could burn lard. Yeah, I did it once. <laughs> <laughs> Take the lid off. You heat it up to 600 degrees. Yeah, I guess so. We did this once. Well, that smoke is thing, I want to see catch on fire. Well, at least we have more lard. Oh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Get up, Gideon. This is so interesting. Oh. Heat up some oil, this time on the camp stove. I don't know what temperature it is. So we'll just hope it works. Looks like it is eventually working. It is. Okay. A third of them turned out okay. That one's good. Yeah. Trying to have my Sounds carnivore good. popcorn. Y'all have them. It's so much harder to make carnivore popcorn. Oh, yeah. All right. 9.15. We're calling it a night. How was it last night, everybody? It was good. Uh, well, no. Not Except good. for there was a time. I don't she know. She claims there was a big bang I don't, last there night. Was a, there's two gigantic bangs. Nobody else heard it, though. But I'm the only one that woke up. And then, okay, was it that way? I see a dumpster right there. I thought it was that way. There's a dumpster right through there. I thought okay. it was that way, but I don't know. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest. I can't tell you what it was. I just was. What scared. did your head say it was? A bear. We were going to be eating, weren't we? I was you afraid. moved Henry from the outside of the tent to the middle. Well, Henry started and screaming you and then, and I was like, why is he screaming? What's our breakfast set up here? We've got, you brought liquid pancake mix. Well, I brought... You're going to need the griddle. You can find it. I bought dry, I've mixed the dry together, and I mixed the liquid together. You're going to need the griddle. Yes. You're excited about this griddle. I am. Rebecca, that hibachi grill. The griddle, I love it. That was game changer. It really, it really, we, we, didn't, we didn't have to use skillets. We, we only dirty one thing. And look at this. Like, you'd think we've actually family camped before and did outdoor cooking before. Perfect bacon, perfect pancakes, perfect eggs. Nothing was burnt. How is it, Gideon? Good. The pancakes while camping taste extra special? Yeah. Yeah. Carnivore camping breakfast there. Eggs, lots of butter, and bacon. Lunch prep right after breakfast. They're just going to have sandwiches for lunch. A little trickier when you're a carnivore. You got beef first. Put some salt on it. You want to make a stew? Yeah. Just got to make sure I keep it in water. It's going to get burnt. You gonna cook it over the fire? Yeah. Think if I put it on the off to the side, it won't be quite as hot. Although there's a log burning right underneath it. You want to cook roast on low and slow. Mm -hmm. We only have so much control out here. Making a list. Grandma and Big Daddy are coming and seeing us, so why not send a list? Thankfully, there's no cell phone reception here. That's no, cool. it's nice. I kind of wish we could have made it. We, next time, we'll have a reservation and, and we'll, we'll know tell them. where we are. 
Look at you, big boy. You learning to balance? Tractor. Tractor. <laughs> That's his first and only word for a long time. Tractor. Look at Teddy. Teddy, you've gotten into the hitchhikers. I don't think Teddy's having a good time. No, I don't either. If Grandma and Grandpa will take him, because... He's stressed out. He won't just sit on a leash. He just has to be right by your side all the time. Are you guys really going to try to swim? Yeah! I put it on Grandma's list to bring me a sweater. Alright, first time cooking beef stew on the fire. It's boiling. There's plenty of water in there. It's going to be super tender. That's good. I like it that way. Ow. You ready to go on a walk? Let's do it. Get your little feetsies hanging out. I think you were about as old as Henry when we started vlogging, yeah. Gideon. Yes, I know. I think they're going to try to swim. Yeah, yeah. 69 degrees out here right now. It's so cold. Well, you won't have to worry about anybody else swimming at the same time. Oh. Gideon's oh. gone in. Oh. Jump in, Jenna. <laughs> Who's that, Henry? Who's that? Doggy. Yeah, he's learned doggy now. Let's check our meat. Look. I'm glad we have a lid for this thing. Okay, yes, we need more water. It's pretty much time though. But they still have to prep their food. I better give it a little more water. Did Big Daddy bring you all your stuff? Yeah, he brought Or is this his stuff? That's his stuff. Some of cool. I'm sure it's done. Oh, it is done. It's more than done. What's for y'all's lunch? We're gonna well, I'm making Quite ham and cheese sandwiches for the kids. Wow. Okay, that's you're gonna do. Grilled cheese and ham sandwiches. Wait, how many do you think they want to eat? The boys. The boys would probably just... be eat two. Oh. How'd it turn out, Dar? Good. Yeah. Good. They You're... turned out really good. All the sandwiches turned out really good. Yes. Coke. No ham and cheese sandwich. Not good enough for you, babe. No, I don't like ham and cheese. Sandwiches. She likes a, I'm a, a gluten free. Oh. This is like a subway. Subway veggie sub. Veggie sub. With your cheese and onions and lettuce. Is it Tomatoes. better than Subway? Way Be better. Way better. Really? That's gluten-free like bad? Yeah, it's Where did bad. you get a gluten-free hoagie that it's, is actually good? It's um, Sammy. Sammy's Bakery in Florida. Yeah. So really? good. You order these shipped? Yep. They ship them to my house. Okay. Did you guys catch any fish? No. Nope. Okay. Sadly. No. Are you going to try again? Probably not. All right. I think they're all fished out. Probably, probably not. Now that's a pile of meat. Let's cut it up. Mucho butter. That's the secret. Staying full on carnivore. The roast beef was good. It was a little dry, but the butter helped. It's very dry because it cooks so fast, oh, so no. hard. Yeah. So long. Are we extra or are we really good campers? Good campers. <laughs> okay. All right, Teddy. I'm trying to get these You're up. You're miserable here. I know, he's so miserable. He's right. gonna go with his second favorite person, <laughs> Big Daddy. How do you handle it? He went, he, she opened oh, the he's door into, and jumped he's right into, in. He's over this. He says, like, get me out of here. Daddy, you ready to go. He's like, all right. All right, see y'all. Okay. We just took a nap. Got the shirt off. The sun is coming out. Finally. Well, you know it's supposed to rain all weekend, and it hasn't yet, but just a little bit. They're making fried corn chips. I want you guys to save the lard for me and I'll make pork rinds. What, what's the trick to making good chips here, babe? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting this down. She's putting it in layers here. We're hitting it with salt while it's wet. It's spread out. It's not on each other. We've got our grease to 380. We're gonna have another go in their oil with uh, pork rinds. But this time we got a temperature. 350, almost there. We want 380 or 400. What do you think, Jonah? So this close. Is the first time we ever made it. Most of them turned out. Look at this. Carnivore popcorn. Corn chips eat your heart out. Another walk.
Is this where y'all came to fish? No. We went up. This is a cool lookout. We're back. It's gonna be time to make supper soon, but this trip is it's been very relaxing. Once we've got here and set up, we've been a lot spent a lot of time sitting around the fire. Took a nap today, took a few leisure strolls. This has been very refreshing. I think it's been worth the trouble. My hot dog is cooked inside. How are them homemade marshmallows? Good. They're delicious. They're wow. the best. The gluten-free setup. We got Hue organic chocolate. We got sweet and nut flour, sweet thins by Simple Mills. And we got homemade marshmallows. How do you make a homemade marshmallow? It's very easy. Well. You bloom your gelatin and then you uh, um, get your maple syrup to about 235 degrees and then pour it in while the whipping thing is whipping and then whip it for like three to five minutes and it makes them and then you let them dry and then you have to cut them and then like put them keep them in a paper bag like this and it like dries them out so that you can roast them y'all hear that rain hitting this tent a little rain last night at least five hours of rain. We had a little wetness in there. It's not a leak though. I thought it was a leak. I didn't think there was anything I do could do about it, but it was the vent. It's time to go home. We're packing in the rain. It's been a fun camping trip. Henry's loved it. But I think everybody's ready to go home. I think that's been one good thing. A good thing about this is. It's made everybody appreciate what we have at home. That looks different. All we got left is the tent. Good memories, I can tell. This is one of those weekends. Kids are gonna tell stories about when they grow up. Okay, you guys ready to go? Even despite the rain. We're only leaving a little bit early. We were gonna eat breakfast. So I don't think it's a failure. It's not. No. Would you recommend family camping? Yeah. It, despite all the trouble, and we'll probably spend all afternoon. So I know. <laughs> unpacking, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. My biggest concern was Henry and the fire, but he totally did great. Oh, yeah. He stayed very yeah. far away. 